Hello there and welcome back to geekyanimator.com and in the previous video we actually made the uh, we actually learned how to do basic bone rigging and we made this character the headless character and rigged some bones on it and uh, if you haven't seen that video let me just describe you in briefly what uh, what we had done well uh, if you go to the layers panel I have this uh, layer 1 which consists of the character this character the whole body of the character and we have a bone layer and the bone layer consists of this the layer one that we that I just told you about so we have a bone layer consisting of the character and on the bone layer we have attached some bones to the character and we can actually manipulate them using the manipulate bone tool and we can actually see the guy animate all right fine now what problem we were having is that while uh, animating it while manipulating the bones we can see certain discrepancies um, occurring with the character as I like as I move the shoulder I see the shoulder just going down creating a hollow and this doesn't happen in real life so we're gonna make this correct we're gonna do improved bone rigging so uh, for those go for those guys who actually don't know anything about bones so uh, I would recommend them to watch the first video which was the basic bone rigging video and just to get you, get yourself a bit um, understood by what bones are and what they do alright just for a basic understanding and after that video I recommend you to watch this one so that you can basically rig um, fine characters so uh, what we're gonna learn in this video is we're gonna make the what the hell we're gonna make the use of two tools and that is the bind point and the bind layer well as the name says we're gonna bind some points to the bones so that when you move the bone only those particular points should uh, get affected by moving the bone let me show you what I mean uh, what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna select the layer one in which I have the character and on the left hand side make sure that uh, this bone is selected because I'm gonna bind points for this bone okay so uh, I'm gonna go to the left hand side and I'm gonna select the bind point tool over here select it and now you have to select the points that you want to bind with this bone which is in red color right now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click and drag to cover up the points that I want and I can see these four points are selected because they are in red color which shows that they are selected now all I have to do is simply press space and when I press space I'm actually binding these points to the bone so space and now these four points are now binded to that bone I'm gonna go uh, bind some points for the other bones also so I'm gonna go on the left hand side select the select bone tool and I'm gonna select the other bone again on the right hand side select the um, bind point tool and I'm gonna select the points that I want to move as the bone moves okay so I'm gonna select these points now you have to carefully select the point which you want to move first of all think that what are those points that you want to move as the bone will move so if I move this shoulder this arm bone so I would like to move these three points and not this point because it's gonna stay at the place uh, where it is right and I'm not gonna select the points for the child bone because if I move this bone this parent bone then automatically the child bone will also move and as the child bone moves the points binded to the child point will also move so I'm gonna bind these points to the bone press space and now these points are binded I'm gonna go uh, do the same for the other arm so select the select bone tool select this bone and with the bind point tool I'm gonna select the bones and press space to bind them don't forget to space the uh, press the space because this happens a lot of time that you actually forget to press the space button and later on you see like I mean what the hell is happening nothing's happening as you thought so I'm gonna select the bone select the points of this bone also and press space so these are binded now I'm gonna go to the leg part I like to you know uh, move 
uh, starting from the um, child bones, the child most bone. This makes me easier to think which points I want to bind. So I'm going to select these points for this point. And one more thing, make sure that all the points are binded to one or another bone. Because if there are points left which you haven't binded to any of the bone, this might create problems later on when you uh, when you animate your um, character because as that point is not binded so it's going to move freely uh, and it may create problem for you so it's better to you know bind all the points to one or the particular bone just to be on the safer side and I'm going to select point for this bone also I'm going to include that point also by holding shift key and I'm gonna drag to select that point also and press space to bind them select the other bone and I'm gonna bind it to press space and they're binded and just two more bones left click on this one and with the sorry at first I like to go to the child one so I'm gonna Find a few points for this one and I'm gonna select this one also. Uh, no, this point is not to be selected. Press space and I'm gonna select this bone round, the last bone. I'm gonna find the rest of the bones which are left to this one and press space now uh, if you later on think that you might have forgotten or you actually not sure that all the I have I have binded all the points to the bones so what you can do is to make sure uh, with the layer once selected on which you have drawn the, you have drawn the character select the select bone tool and now you can select each of the bone and when you select any bone the bind, points binded to that bone will also get highlighted so for example if I select this bone the points point binded to that bone also gets highlighted so this indicates me I mean which which points are binded to the bone so uh, I'm gonna just make sure that all the points are binded and I'm gonna do the same for here yep mm -hmm. yeah fine and yeah here we have a problem this point is not binded to any of the bone if you see if I click on this bone this backbone one I have this point unselected and if I go to this bone on the leg one again this point is not selected this point should be a part of uh, uh, I think the backbone yeah it should be the part of the backbone so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select the backbone and I'm gonna select the bind point tool again and holding the shift key and selecting this point so that I could add it the add this point into the selected points and press space and now those points are binded again to that bone and I'm gonna just make sure that all other points are also binded to the bone and yeah first confirm we have all the points binded and now if you move use the manipulate bone tool first of all select the bone layer and now with the manipulate bone tool you can see that as you manipulate the character you can see you have much much improved uh, movements of the character I mean it's a hell lot improved I mean only the points related to that bone are uh, affected which you had selected right you can see how gracefully the character is moving I mean that's a really fine job that we have done right now wonderful great alright so we have um, done with the bind point tool now there's one more tool that I want to explain and that is the bind um, bind layer tool now to explain that what I'm going to do I'm going to first of all scale this um, scale this the whole character so I'm going to um, go to the uh, layer panel and I'm gonna select the scale it and I'm gonna scale it down a little bit yeah and with the move layer tool I'm gonna translate layer tool I'm gonna drag it a little bit down 
so that I can create a space for the head because I'm going to draw a head right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the layer tool and I'm going to click on the new layer and I'm going to select vector. Well, I selected the layer one first because uh, that will automatically, when the new layer that I'm going to create, it will create it just above it. And I'm going to name it as head. Cause for the head. Let me rename this layer one as body. Just double click it and you can rename it as body. Press enter. And here you are. So uh, I'm going to select the head layer and I'm going to draw a head right now. So I'm going to select the add bone tool or in fact I just go with the round face. I'm going to select the um, select shape tool. I'm going to select oval and I'm going to draw a head. Make sure that fill color is white and stroke is black and I'm going to draw a simple head and with the translate point tool I'm going to click in the middle of the shape so that all the points of the shape get selected and I'm going to drag it around here. All right, and as we have drawn the head, we need to create a bone for the head also. So I'm gonna click on the bone layer, and I'm gonna select the select bone tool, and select this bone because this bone is going to be the parent for the head bone that I'm gonna create. So click on the add bone tool and create the head. All right, and if I go to the bone layer, it's already selected. So I'm going to select the manipulate bone tool and now I can actually if I move the head layer I can see the head layer also moving. Well head movement seems to be quite fine here and uh, things seems to be quite okay but uh, let me show you one more thing. I'm going to select the head layer and I'm, this time I'm going to make the make a head for the for the uh, create hairs for the head. So I'm going to select the add point tool and what I'm going to do, I'm going to make, oops, press control plus Z to undo it. It's, I think automatic wielding is on. So I'm just going to zoom in. I'm going to select the zoom uh, from the workspace tool menu and I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to right click and drag to get to the position where I want. And I'm going to select the add point tool. I'm going to create the hairs for the character. Some nice spiky hairs that you could actually understand the concept that you want so I'm going to attach this uh, point to the head so I'm going to press space oops press control plus C to undo it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, attach the hair with this point press space and here we go I'm going to create the same some nice long hairs uh, just one more curve and press space. I'm gonna color it, fill it with the, using the select uh, fill. Um, sorry, create shape tool. I'm gonna click on any of the edges, and we have the shape selected. I'm um, with the white fill color and the black stroke color. I'm gonna press space and click outside, and we have our shape right here. So what I'm gonna do? If I go to the bone layer. And now using the manipulate bone tool, if I move the bone, I can see that the head is moving, but the hairs are showing a bit, you know, um, the hairs are, aren't moving along as well with the head. I can see a few points which are not being affected much by the movement of the head. So what I'm going to do, what I can do to fix it is that again, using the bite point tool, I can bind all the points for the head in the head layer. And after that, we can have our motion smooth and well as uh, for the other bones that we created. So the one more thing that I can, we can do over here is we can actually bind the whole layer, the head layer with the bone that we created for the head because we want all the points. Uh, in the head layer to move along with the uh, head bone so instead of selecting each point and binding it to the bone we can simply bind the whole layer to the uh, to the bone so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select the layer first which I want to bind with the bone and on the left hand side uh, select the bind layer tool and now simply select the bone that you want to bind with that layer so Make sure the head layer is selected and with the bind layer tool, I'm going to select this bone and this bone now automatically gets bind to the 
um, head bone. All right, the bone gets pointed to the head layer, and you can understand that why we use the bind layer tool because um, in head we have certain you know we have the points for the eyes, for the nose, for the mouth, and more importantly for the for the hairs. So we want that as the head moves, all these things should also move along with the head. So that's why we use the bind layer tool so that we can move the whole layer with the bone. So now if I go to the bone layer and use the manipulate bone tool, if I manipulate the head, I can see that the whole head along with the hairs is rotating much much gracefully as, as compared to the previous uh, method that we used. So I'm gonna zoom out now, right click and drag to fix the screen and with the manipulate bone tool I can check that every bone is now rotating much fine. I can see that the problem of shoulders has also been uh, corrected. I can move the whole character around and much smoother animation, I mean much smoother character I have right now. and. It's time that you create your own characters and make a perfect bone rigging so that you can have an easy animation and make it look much more realistic. Alright, well thanks for watching the video and I hope you uh, understood a lot of things and once again thanks for watching the video. Thanks.